gotten quite a few questions about how I created a photo that I posted on my Facebook page and I just wanted to show you how it's done and this app is a lot of fun you can do it on uh, just about any mobile phone it's called slow shutter and if I open it right there it's pretty simple to use um, you can make some changes to the self timer that's probably the one that I use the most frequently or that I change the most frequently uh, because sometimes I just need uh, three to five seconds to arrange my composition or or get the the phone kind of moving in a particular direction uh, but more often than not, just, you know, one second will do it. You can change the uh, file format and you can basically use the iPhone's RAW format. You can create a TIFF, a JPEG, or a PNG. I usually just leave it on JPEG. You can increase the resolution and just, you know, a lot more options that you can go through uh, on your own. But this is basically how it works. So if you click on this uh, little gear icon, you can do a motion blur, a light trail, or low light, and you can change the strength of the blur, the shutter speed. So this is the one, again, this is something that I change more frequently than any other of the other options. So if I want a half a second or a full second or longer, I can do that right here. So I'm gonna do one second and I'm just gonna leave it on auto ISO. And so basically what I do is, is I will arrange my phone, whether it's uh, a waterfall or waves, or if I just want to do kind of a motion blur of some flowers or something, and these are just some coleus, I'm just in my backyard here. So what I do is I press the button, and what I'm going to do is start to turn or move uh, the camera in the direction that I want before I hear any type of click, because you have to have the camera already in motion to make the image nice and fluid so you don't have any kind of jagged uh, jumpy sections so i'm going to press it and i'm already moving and you know do i like that you know if, if i like it i can click save but then i have to pre press clear and i can say clear capture and so i can just do another one if i wanted to do more of a a swipe uh, going maybe this way I don't want to get, uh, you know, the, the wooden post here or these bright highlights in the background. I really just want this color right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start knowing that it's not going to take a picture for one full second. I want to be about right here when that second starts. So I'm going to start further out than I need to be. Click it and swipe it. And if I don't like it, I just hit clear and then discard. And so I'll try it again. Clear it. Yeah, I'm not loving these too much, but anyway, you just got to learn how to use it. And you can adjust your settings. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to say, you know what, maybe a full second is too long. How about a half a second? Okay. That's a little bit more interesting. In any case, uh, everything in the image is going to blur. So what I did in order to create the photo at the beach was I also went into an app called Alien Sky. And so I took this image that I created with the slow shutter, I clicked OK, and then I went to Effects. And you can do planets, moons, alien worlds, nebula. So I just went to moons. And I picked a, you know, just a regular looking moon. So if you want the moon in your image, now granted last time I did kind of like a, a little crescent moon, but uh, this is the full moon and you can pinch and zoom and put it in your image. I made it, you know, somewhat uh, life size for the image. But if I had had the moon in that shot originally, it would have blurred as well. So it was a good thing that I didn't have the moon in there and I just kind of added it later. But this is a really fun app. Um, you can download it in the app store and uh, just have fun playing with these apps. So that's uh, two different 
apps on the phone to get your creative juices flowing. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.